Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is basically an update to our Office 365 Administrator course. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you to everyone for such a great honest reviews right here. I uh, would we'll definitely want to see more and more comments, reviews, and things like that. And today I'm making this video because, you know, Office 365 is uh, now, you know, when they do an updates, they change layouts and they add some features. It's really up to Microsoft, and you just have to kind of learn it on the go. So that's what we're doing in this course. That we done this course, and the layout was a little, uh, you know, the older layout. Basically, this layout we have done our full course under this layout. Now this is changing, and that's why we need to change our course and update just the admin section. We don't have to do a lot of things in the other sections because. Uh, you know that's for learning so the main things are in admin so this video could be a little longer it depends on how many features we are going to cover in this part of video uh, and then we will upload it right under this section and this is going to be video under this office 65 admin section and it will say updated video and that will help you out when you go to work or uh, this is your first time you're going to be working tomorrow on office 65 you just got a job or you're just trying to learn it it's, it's going to give you a lot of confidence because you will see exactly what you're going to see at work and that is exactly what's happening here right now it's telling Microsoft is telling us that we are going to be changing your new we're going to be changing you to the new admin center and do you want to try it out so we're just gonna go ahead and click on it and let's try it out so this is how it looks this is exactly how it will be for you also now maybe little things might be here and there um, I don't know if you can move these things but yeah I mean to be honest I haven't had I haven't played around with this for a long time I mean I just started working on our um, admin site that it changed and I had to do some things and I found some new things and I was like I have to do I have to share this with my members because they might be getting the same thing so the same way as you guys can see we have we will start in this video from the user section and I'll tell you this is exactly the same thing that you guys have seen in the old admin center it's just the layout is a little bit changed and they added some features I think they're making it easier for you to kind of know where things are and I am liking this new layout I won't lie the, the old layout was a little bit you know too much but the they they kind of like you know put together things in the right places now so um it might be it might take you a little time in the beginning but you will get used to it now let's talk about the front page what you can do from this page as you can see you can add a user you can delete a user you can edit a user you can reset a password message center message center is pretty good uh, center that you should know uh, what's going on what new features group multi I mean all this stuff like right here what's new is actually a nice place to kind of like click on it and see what's going on this right tells you right here in March this is what's happening uh, they you know you can have all these features you can read about it and the other good part of this is that what's coming up remember we talked about some of the things that Microsoft will basically change and then you will kind of have to deal with it because they will change it uh, you don't have a control over that because that's what they support they they kind of do all this server side of work and all that kind of stuff that's why you are on cloud you don't have to deal with things but you need to know what's going on what's going to be changed so you just don't want to get shocked when things are in night not in a, not in a, your place or maybe you're doing training to your staff members or you you spend so much time developing materials so I would strongly suggest you to kind of look around these things because if you see something like you know templates are getting changed and things like that then it will kind of you know you'll have to do redo your documentation if that is your goal so that is the main page in the new admin center now we're gonna go back and just go to home page again this is where it it is and under the home and you can see on the right side there's a service health the same way as before and then you have support right here you can do a request or you can basically uh, leave your um, request if you already have now discover and learn you can just learn things and we all, we already went through this stuff we're not going to spend too much time here but here's a good features right here you can search a user so if you want to search someone you can search over here um, the same way um, let's just see what 
if you click on add what's going to see this is what i want to tell you guys that look it's different that the, the adding the person in a company is different than it what it used to be before in an in an order layout so that's why i wanted to go over this so if i go ahead and add a user dan con i'm just going to do d con can't type today but i'm just going to do it this way and then you know you can auto generate a password product license you can assign a license i can just turn this on and i'm going to say save um maybe they don't have the you can do this part in this because it's limited account from microsoft so this is how you're going to be adding an in information you can just put more information about the job title is this person it department office and all that so that's how you add a user you simply add it and then you just tell the user that this is your temporary password and then you can go from there on now you can also do this uh, let me create the password make this user their password when they sign in so so that's kinda like Active Directory remember if we if you go to my Active Directory course this is exactly what we did and now Microsoft is going towards this Office 365 a lot of people are on it so that's what you're going to be dealing with editing a user basically if you have a user if, if I do a search here maybe we don't have any maybe some admin in there you go so if you wanna add a user uh, added a user you'll just search the person here maybe this person call you and you need to uh, change their title maybe you need to change the extension number so you basically click on edit here and you can see right here that you can change their license you can assign the license if you have more license group membership you can change that this is something that I noticed recently I mean I don't know if I missed this on the old one or I don't see it but this is something what happens is that if you take the license off it's gonna say disallowed or if you if you turn off this person disable this person in Active Directory this status will get disabled uh, you can just edit right here and then allow you see right here sign in blocked what's gonna happen is this person will try to get into their their uh, account and I guess you can just block the person from here let's say for example someone leaves the company and it takes time for you know to do things you can just sign in blocked I mean they, they won't be able to sign in while you can do things you can go to the emails and things like that so this is something that I just find out so I still have to play around with this feature um, as you guys can see right here this is a little different layout so let's go to users quickly active users right here if you click on it and these are the active users unlicensed so you you'll have you'll see your company will have all the licenses right here you can just click here and then same way it will pop up so I think they are making it really easy for uh, you know even um, anyone in IT or anyone that manages it Office 365 so you can see how easy it is to just you know go to that person um, email sorry the account so and you can see the deleted users the same way you'll see deleted users right here data migration let's talk about data, data migration they are making it now more easier to get the data look how easy it is you can have a PST file you can click here and upload the PST file or you can import to OneDrive you can get things from Gmail Outlook Hotmail Yahoo and other email sources and you have a lot of other things that you guys can try now um, so they're putting more and more features right there um, if you go to groups same way you have groups right here you can add a group right here and then you can use you know a group email uh, to send out email to this group and manage things that way okay let's go to resources right quickly public website this these are the public website you can basically you know these are just normal things you can get your website on the pub on the office 65 billing subscription bill licenses purchase billing this is something just normal you know when you have what type of subscription do you have bill licenses and things like that support we already went through this support is right here uh, you can um, do a service request right here uh, it will take you to this right here you can click on this plus sign and then you can create your uh, ticket with Microsoft and then you can check your status by going to support and then they will also have a, a ticket right here alright so settings this is just normal settings for your organization so you see services and add-ins um, security and privacy 
you can do things from here days before password expire you can change the password policy from here this is the most important one right here you probably have to spend some time or check your policy documentation to do these kind of things um, other things domains is this is what we went through uh, before uh, in our course we did that from scratch this is where organization profile is going to be you can add a profile right here you can put your like your technical contact your support contact things like that and reports this is something that a lot of managers will be using um, we don't have a good reporting since this account is limited but this is pretty much you know you just they provide you the reporting so it's not like something that you have to create a lot of customization so you'll you don't have too many options in there but it's good health you can check the service health right here uh, from uh, Microsoft you'll see if there's something wrong message center uh, what's new is another thing message center is where you will see uh, if things are going uh, you know what's getting added or maybe something is down uh, plan for changes right here it tells you right there stay informed new reporting portal so if something goes down there's an app too so if you can download it's called office 365 admin app so you can see things what's going on over there now admin center is uh, another important one now one thing over here that's missing that's basically when you go to the admin center you'll see exchange in there also exchange has a lot of things in there it's only showing Azure right here so if you go to here basically it's going to take you to your um, as your active directory and things like that um, now of course this is not going to let me sign in there you go it's not gonna let me sign in. so what I'm gonna do is I am going to quickly sign in to a different portal and show you guys just an exchange setting so you guys also know that but again this is something that I have covered every single thing in this course so make sure you watch the older video for learning this is just to go over things basically kinda like show you the new layout there's not much to it I just showed you what was the biggest change is that when you have the pop-up for the user site popped up like this and when I clicked on this right here this pop-up this I mean this is something that I find it pretty nice and when you have exchange settings you'll see more settings on the bottom like you can delegate a rights to yourself or you can give rights to someone else you can you can go to the exchange and do a lot of other things so I'm just gonna quickly log into exchange settings and then I'm gonna show you guys and that will end this video now this is currently a running Microsoft Office for about three to four hundred users um, as you guys can see there's a lot of things right here um, um, it's using a directory sync and you can see there's no errors basically what this setup is a little different than just normal office 365 this is connected to a local active directory so whenever someone and a technician or IT person or someone do a changes to active directory at work that's a server running in on the at the local office headquarter whenever somebody changes it basically goes out to this and then basically it syncs to your office 365 and that's the same way if you do some changes over here it will sync it back to active directory so that's what's happening over here you can see there's a different type of things going on yammer is running reports um, as I want to show you guys this section as you guys can see right here so you see how in the limited account from Microsoft we had only Azure uh, option available but there's more options the more you add the more access you have the more you you know kinda like turn on the features from uh, Microsoft you will see it right here now I can click on exchange and I'll see a lot of exchange stuff Skype for business I can control all the uh, Skype for business admin site from here SharePoint from here Yammer from here and security and compliance so I'm gonna go ahead and click on exchange so you see when I clicked on exchange admin center it basically took me back to the old uh, view right here so that's kind of like I wanted to show you guys that some of the things that is just a layout so nothing you know uh, in, in exchange site and there might be a little bit of features added to this section they have some like you know you, you can read all the new features but not much have changed it's for it's up to you how much you want to study office 365 and how many what kind of features you're focusing on but whatever you saw in this course and whatever you've been through this course is kinda like 
basics even uh, this is something that you will be doing kind of like a daily uh, a job if that's your job to manage Office 365 like adding a user editing a user deleting resetting passwords adding a share folder things like that public folders um, getting a calls you know for adding a group and you know, giving someone access this is these are the daily calls that you're going to get on Office 365 and get, assigning someone license someone leave the company you take the license away give it to somebody else else and you know um, making their uh, emails archive or making it a share uh, share box or something like that adding a contact uh, uh, maybe there someone is not getting an email then you go to emails right here mail flow you go to message trace right here we, we kind of went through this stuff and you just do these kind of things on a daily basis but if you want to learn more in advance we are going to be making um, an advanced course but we're planning on that right now we're, we're not saying that it's going to be available right away but that's going to be available so thank you for watching this video this was an update video I am going to put this under admin section and this is going to be under this section um, under the original video and it will say updated video thank you